Jesus ate. Yeah, he got hungry. He, he felt the heat of the day. He felt the cold of the winter. Uh, he, he was grieved at times. Uh, he felt loneliness. He, he missed his father. Something was dying in him. This is what I'm getting at. He died for us. What a tremendous love he had. It said, for God, that's God the Father right there. Mark that in your Bible. Commendeth his love toward us, Christ. How great does he love the church that he would die. It just wasn't an act of being on a cross. No. Of being nailed to a cross. That, yeah, that was the uh, climax. That, 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 was, that was the, what, the, the, the zenith, the, the, the climax, the, the culmination of it. But look at all of how he died before he ever got to the cross. Tremendous. Yes, Brother Rob. Uh, I think we can use uh, Philippians 2 and 5 and the, let this mind be in you, but so so in Christ Jesus, who thought it was not robbery to be made equal to God, right. but made himself of no reputation. Like right. I said, he was with the Father in the beginning. Right. But he, but he, he came down and made himself of no reputation. He was found made in the likeness of men. And then in, the later he said he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even the death of the cross. Even the death of the cross. Yes. And if we're going to follow it, and to me, that, that mind is not, some people say, well, i got to get the mind across, i got to get the mind across. To me, that's his example of his, that mindset, let this mindset be in you, or way of thinking. Yes. As an example to follow. Yes. Very good, Brother Ron. Amen. Amen. Lots of people died on crosses. Right. But he was dead before he got that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You're right, Sister Carol. Sister Christine. I was um, back around Easter. At, I, I don't know. I'm sure that over the roof, this church has probably discussed it, but talking about the three days because Good Friday to, to Easter morning does not equal three days. And it was even discussed that the real death was in the garden. Right. The total death was in the garden, right. and the rest was just right. the ceremony, uh, you know, yeah, right. fulfilling the scripture. Yes, yes. Yes, good. Good thought, yes. I was, I was getting o over to... You're, you're stealing part of my thunder there, Christine. That's good. Because that that's where I'm going next was, was the Garden of Gethsemane. And that's what I thought about Saturday night when Brother Marlon was preaching. See, because uh, 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 for a lot of people, nothing crosses them. <laughs> nothing crosses you. Isn't that sad? But when something crosses you, then you can pretty much figure you're making progress. <laughs> Think about that for a while. It may sound convoluted. <laughs> you know, a lot of preachers nowadays uh, uh, pre preach uh, a lot of prosperity, uh, and, 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 and they have their place in, in the religious world, and, and, and they're talented. They work hard. They're tremendous preachers, and they, they have a lot of good. But uh, I'm not over there with them. I, I'm right here where I believe God led me. And uh, uh, I, I don't hear them preaching what I hear preaching here. And, uh, and that's why I've tried to stay around for, for all these years. But uh, uh, going back to what Brother Pete was saying, he, that, the, that first day that he entered the wilderness, uh, uh, you know, he wasn't tempted for turning those stones into bread. It was after the 40 days. Mm -hmm. And afterward, the scripture said, and afterward, he hungered. Yeah. And the enemy said, well, you're hungry? Turn these stones into bread so you can eat. But he didn't give in to that. Brother Hank. I went 15 days without eating one time, and I thought I was going to die. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I really thought I was going to die. 15 days going on. Yes. Yeah. Brother, Brother Hank was uh, one of the Americans, one of the fine American soldiers that served in the Korean War. And he got over to Korea by boat. And it wasn't uh, 
it wasn't the love boat. <laughs> it, it was a troop carrier, and uh, and uh, he really got sick. Five people died. Wow. That's amazing. But God spared Brother Hank. Praise the Lord. Praise even Lord. while he was there in Korea. And, and the bullets flying around him and, and, me, and men giving their lives for, for this freedom that, that we enjoy. Mm -hmm. No, and I'm not going to go over in, in, in that area. We're not going to get into politics tonight. We could. Anyway, there, there's not a lot of... There, I'll say that there's a lot of things going on right now that I don't agree with. But God knows all about it. And we'll just put it under the, the heading... Uh, great is the mystery of godliness <laughs> for right now, and uh, so we can we'll move on over to that portion of the scripture that Sister Christine brought uh, to us about, about that in in the in the uh, Garden of Gethsemane where Christ was, and you can find that where it actually uses the word Gethsemane, twenty Matthew twenty six and thirty six. I believe that, yep. uh, and I think that's about the only scripture that uses or maybe there's one other scripture that uses the word uh, the name that, that could get seven you know, the only place you'll find it in the Bible and uh, but that was his garden of Gethsemane and we use that a lot of times for folks we'll see how uh, some some people are really suffering or, or going through a hard time or having a tough way to go and we'll say well they're going through their Gethsemane you know, they're, they're part of their Gethsemane, you know, which we, we all do. And uh, and there was another, there, there that crossed him there, because you look at the way Christ prayed, uh, and, and, and there's another account in Luke, which varies just a little bit. It's, it's the same, but it's not exactly the same verb, it's the same wording, but Luke was writing the same thing, that, that uh, uh, he wrestled with his will right there. Uh, it, it, it crossed him. And this is what I thought about. Uh, 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 Christ said, uh, not Christ, pardon me, Paul said, and I believe it's in the sixth chapter of Romans, uh, he said that, that the carnal mind is enmity against God and is not subject to the law of God, and neither indeed can be. I believe that's the sixth chapter of Romans. Uh, of, of, isn't that the sixth chapter of Romans? Eight. eight. Or is it eight? eight? Eight. For the wages of sin is death. That's the sixth chapter. But but uh, uh, that's that's our our carnality, our our, our carnal mind, our our, our the, the fleshly will of man. What we want to do. Why did he say to Peter, uh, you know, uh, when thou when you were young, you, you know, you went about on your your own way. You know, and, and you went here, you went there when you were young. He said, but as you get older, another will gird you. And another will lead you, you know. And, and, uh, and that, that's Christ and his word and his law uh, and, and his ministry. Uh, of being in his order from top to bottom. That crosses us. That crosses the human nature. That, that, that crosses humanity. That's, that's where the cross is. We have to come to His will, just like Christ did. You know, there another part of Christ died. Another part uh, went missing. Another part left. Brother John, would that be the fleshly part? Yes. From His mother. Yes. Okay. Yes, that's right, Sister Laura, Lorraine. Right. Because He was. Uh, if you look, if you really study really close. The second chapter of Ephesians. There, there were two. There were two there, and we can we can read that real quick, and uh, just give you a, a scripture that you can put with your notes to study later in the second chapter of Ephesians, uh, starting in the fifteenth verse, Ephesians two and fifteen, having abolished in his flesh the enmity. Even the law of commandments contained in ordinances for to make for to make in himself of twain. This is talking about Christ. For to make in himself twain one new man, so making peace. 